Welcome to Selenium Master video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to use Selenium to library keyword alert should be present in robot framework test automation. When testing web applications, in some cases you need to verify that alert should be present when you click on any element on the web page. Alert should be present keyword verifies an alert is present and dismisses it. If text is a non-empty string, then it is also verified that the message of the alert equals to text. The keyword will fail if no alert is present. So by using alert should be present, we can do assertion on alert on a web page. Now let's look at one HTML file, one local file. This local file is stored under D folder, robot example, Mahara test project, alert test this, and alert test HTML. And there is a button called display alert box. When I click on the display alert box button, this is an alert box the alert box is displayed. In order to dismiss the box, I need to click on the OK button. Now let's look at the element definition of the display alert box button. So right click on the button and click on inspect element. So this is a button element and name is alert button. So we can use the name as the element uh, locator. And the JavaScript function, it just returns my alert and alert, this is an alert box. Now let's close the element inspector and the close the window. When you are working on web page with robot framework, for testing purpose, you can use local file as a test page. So in this example, I used the alert test.html file as a test page. So first line, open browser. We open the browser, open file. Make sure when you use a local file, you need to use the protocol file and with the correct format. We open this with Firefox. Slip 10 seconds. As explained in other video tutorials, in testing real applications, you shouldn't use the slip statement, but here for Demonstrating purposes, I added 10 seconds as slip. So step three, click button name equal to alert button. We click on the alert button and slip five seconds. Step five, alert should be present. This is an alert box. This is the message on the alert box and close browser. So now we save this test case and I tag the test case as alert test. Now let's run this test. Click on test. Click on the run button and only run tests with these tags. Alert test. So start. So now the browser launch it 
and after 10 seconds it clicks on display alert box now the alert box is displayed so after 5 seconds the alert box dismissed now let's close the browser and find out why the test failed so we need to check so by looking at the uh, console we can find out that the assertion is not right alert text should have been this is an alert box but was this is an alert box so the b should be lowercase let me replace this text copy it and go to edit now paste onto the message now let's run it again so click on the run tab click on start So browser opens, clicks on the display alert box, click on OK. Now the test is completed and one critical test, one passed, one test total. Now let's look at the log file. So alert test this and alert suite and verify alert. Open browser. Open a new browser instance to give a URL. In this case, the URL is a local file. So make sure you need to use the right protocol file colon and you need to use three slashes. Three forward slashes and the file location slip 10 seconds click on the button alert button and slip 5 seconds alert should be present this is an alert box and close browser so now this test is completed and it passed So as explained in this example, you can use the keyword alert should be present to assert any alert on the web page in your test script. For written example, please visit www.seleniummaster.com website. Thanks for watching.